What's up guys? So, um, at the end of this vlog, I talked about, like, towards the end I talked about how I had kind of a rough night and I kind of just preached about some stuff and ranted and I talked about how my mom is one of those people out of my whole family who gets me the most and she's really important to me because she gets me, she's patient with me and, and so I'm going to do something nice for her today. Um, she gets off at 8 and then she goes to the gym. It's like 5 o'clock, but what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to go to the store and buy her some flowers and then a card just to kind of thank her for being a really great mom and, you know, she just is doing her job, but at the same time, not everybody's mother is always there for them the way they need them to be and I'm grateful that mine is. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I don't know how much I'm going to film at the store just because it's weird, so I might film in the car and things like that. Okay guys, so I didn't think I was going to be able to find any sunflowers, but they're right here. And now I'm getting ready to go to Walmart to get her a card. And I think I'm going to put the sunflowers in my cousin's car seat. <laughs> I don't want them to get smushed. I'm going to get ready to go to um, Walmart and get her a card. And if I have any spare change, I'll get her something else too, I guess. But I'm just so excited to do this for my mom because she deserves it. Shout out to all the mothers out there. It's not Mother's Day, but I still want to honor my mom. Okay guys, so I made it home. I got my mom's sunflowers because I think I already said this in the car, but I found some. So I'm getting ready to put them in a vase. I hope we have a vase big enough for these. And then I also got <clears throat> her a card. So I'm going to put these in a vase, sign her card, and then I'll send her a little message at the end of this video. So guys, I have sunflowers in a vase, and all I have to do is sign her card. I accidentally got water on the card from the vase, but it's a really pretty card. It just says, thank you so much, and there's a sweet little message in there. And then I got this one so I could write my own little message right there. But even though Mother's Day is coming up next month, I really just wanted to do this for my mom because she lately has really been there for me through so much I've been going through and I just wanted to thank her before Mother's Day. So I just feel like this is also like a random act of kindness, which you should do for anybody, whether it's your family or not. But I'm not gonna preach about anything again. I just thought I would share this with you guys. And I just want my mom to know I love her so much and I appreciate everything she does for me. Every last thing from giving me advice and helping me and you know, just talking to me and listening to me. So. I'll see you guys in the rest of this vlog and you'll see what I'm talking about when you get to or towards the end of the vlog why I decided to do this. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I um currently am getting ready to do something but my phone is acting up. I was actually getting ready to work out and then I was like, you know what? I really don't feel like working out today. <laughs> I need to start getting back into my workout but I'm just so... Like, I don't know what the word is. Like, I'm just not motivated lately. Like, lately I have zero motivation and I hate when I get like this. But I was getting ready to work out and then I was like, no, I'm going to film a video. So I put this shirt back on. I wore this yesterday during the storm to just film a video. And, um, <sighs> I only wore this. I don't know. I'm not going to be posting this vlog right after the other one. But I did wear this in the storm video. I just put it on to go to my grandma's. And then I took it off last night before I got in the shower. And then I just put it back on today because why not? <laughs> I have to, I need to do my laundry, but I was going to work out. I've been saying that 10 times, but I think I'm going to make my dinner. I'm going to be making dino nuggets and waffle fries. I'm so excited because first of all, I'm starving. And second of all, sounds like a really good meal. So let's go make it. I really honestly hate vlogging when I don't go anywhere because they're probably so super boring because it's just mostly me talking the whole time because I suck at vlogging, but I'm low key getting better. So just bear with me. But I'm getting ready to make my dinner, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. You know, I'll probably do time lapses of me making it. I'm not doing the pee-pee dance. I'm just crouching down so you guys can see me. So I'm going to start making my dinner. It is like 4.30. It's kind of early for dinner, but I'm too excited about this. So I'm going to start making it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. The oven. What was how much was it? 350. Oh look, it's already on 350. Oh mother of pearl, I gotta get the trays out. 
we always like you guys like keep your pans in your oven and then sometimes you forget to take them out before you put something in the oven because I do that all the time so the oven is gonna preheat and then I'm gonna put these in the oven and after those are done I'm gonna do my fries I think while that is preheating and while those are cooking I'm gonna do some of my laundry because a few vlogs ago I showed you that big pile of laundry on my floor and I still haven't done it <laughs> I did what was in my basket just not what was on my floor so yeah if you wanted to know where I film my Kiana's corner videos I sit in that stool and I prop the camera up in this window for bomb lighting so yeah I'm about to do some laundry my room has actually been clean for about two weeks now I'm proud of myself I'm gonna do my laundry and I'll see you guys in a little bit I always forget to look at the time for how long stuff needs cooked and the fries have to cook for literally 18 minutes and the nuggets are done so I think what I'm gonna do is stick the nuggets on a plate and then stick them in the microwave so that it'll contain the heat I don't know if that makes sense but I do that sometimes I don't know if it actually works but I like to tell myself it does so that's what I'm gonna do they just came out of the oven I always forget to look at how long I should have cooked the fries first I always forget to look at how long to cook stuff before I, you know, pick what order I'm gonna cook them and that was a terrible angle. You guys know I'm famous for that. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll see you guys. So if you have not yet seen my vlog called Tornado Warning in this area, I don't even know what I'm gonna call it yet because I haven't even posted it yet. But it should be up before this vlog. If you haven't seen the vlog I talked that we almost got a tornado in, the link is in the description. Literally yesterday it was 74 degrees beautiful outside and the next thing you know in the afternoon it's pouring rain there are tornado sirens going off and you'll just have to look and see that in the video but if you have seen the video if you haven't seen it stop right here go watch a little bit of it or all of it and then come back and then watch the rest of this vlog to know what I'm about to talk about so like I just said in that video it was 74 degrees beautiful and then we had like terrible weather like trying to tear us apart like mother nature was going crazy yesterday now today let me remind you it is spring and it is april today it is 30 degrees the wind is flying and it's snowing i don't think you can see the snowflakes but it is snowing like how do you go from almost summer weather to straight back to winter like in ohio like i said you will experience every single season in the spring like it's ridiculous I just ate my dinner guys the best thing to put on like fries or like chicken like what I just had like chicken nuggets is the steak and shake seasoning fry and steak burger seasoning but I like to put it on my nuggets and my fries it is way better on steak and shake fries but it is good on other foods too I had it in here I have some leftovers I put them in here because I made a little bit extra just so just in case I was hungry later because I don't want to have to eat like drunk later I can eat my leftover dinner but I still gotta clean up I got pans and stuff everywhere but I just can't even believe that's snowing like I'm still so, so like shook like why is it snowing please can it be warm outside like it's even freezing in the garage and I hate that but anyway I'm gonna finish doing my laundry my arm hurts how much time is on this 26 minutes I'm gonna finish doing my laundry I'm only doing one load today because oh my god I don't know if you guys seen what happened I'm keeping that in the vlog because I was trying to get around the washer door and my arm hit this wall right here and it went Poof. then my phone fell this phone I use to vlog because even though it doesn't help my quality a thousand percent, if I use my actual phone for my vlogs, you wouldn't even be able to see me because there'd be glares going on from the crack in the screen. And as you can see, this phone is just a piece of crap. Oh my God, I thought the screen was gonna crack. The, I wish I could have showed you guys. The top of the phone, like 
this part up here was popping out of the thing. I had to snap back in because I don't know if you guys know, but this phone is actually kind of bent. I wish I could show you, but I can't. But anyway, wow, that was scary. I'm gonna go and get what I said I need to do done. Not to be negative on my vlog, but my dad and my sister, whenever they're together, they always make it possible to tear me down. Like they, they literally sit there and talk about me while I'm in the room. And it's not good stuff. They constantly make me feel bad about my life. And they wonder why I never want to be around them. Because they literally just sit there and make me feel like a piece of crap. And it's literally so annoying. My dad is the most negative person on the planet. He tries to make you feel bad. I don't know why. I'm supposed to be his child. He doesn't support me with anything. And then my sister, she says stuff to him about me. Because she knows he's going to say something to me and make me feel bad. I don't know what kind of family that is. But, um... That's what I'm dealing with right now. So that's why I haven't been vlogging today. There's a big gap because I just, I'm not in the mood. I'm in a really bad mood. I'm about to go cry if you can't tell. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I don't like being negative in my videos. I really don't like sharing a lot of personal stuff on here either. Just because people don't not share their personal stuff with like their supporters or things like that because they're hiding it. It's just because people like to take what you say about your personal life and twist it around and make it into their own story and then it starts a whole dilemma. And I don't even know how much of the clip I just filmed I'm even going to put into this vlog. I want to put all of it in there because I honestly feel like I want to be truthful and say what I need to say. But at the same time, I don't want to put all my information out there for people to judge me and all this. But I physically go through a lot. Mentally, I have trouble and it's hard for me to do a lot of things in life and people do not understand that and they continue to just make me feel bad about that. My sister and my dad are both really good people. I love my dad and he does a lot for me but at the same time there's a lot that he kind of does to me negatively that makes me feel terrible about myself. Like. I do YouTube. I'm not some big famous YouTuber, but I don't do YouTube to be amazing and famous. I do vlogs just because it's fun to vlog and it's fun to have the memory of that moment. I do sit down videos because maybe some people like to watch my videos and that's why I want to start doing more relatable videos so I can actually have a purpose. And he just thinks that my YouTube thing is stupid. He thinks it's pointless. It's time consuming. He thinks it's dumb whatever i don't really care what he thinks and then my sister she's an awesome sister i love her but when they get together they just say these little things around me and digs at me because they know it's going to make me mad or upset and i don't know why family does that but i'm a very sensitive person and i hate when people do that to me and it's not funny it's not cute and i don't care if you're joking because even when you're joking about something there's still some truth that you thought to that and that goes into if you're somebody out there who is unhappy and your goal is to make other people unhappy because you're unhappy, please stop doing that because it's not cute. It's That's why the world is in such a, a crisis these days because people are getting mad and they're taking their anger out on innocent people. If you have an issue, if you have depression, if you are in a sad or, or dark place, talk to somebody about it or write down your feelings, but try not to take your anger out on other people who had nothing to do with it. I mean, yeah, I get angry at my dad and my sister for the way they make me feel, but I would never physically hurt them because of it. I just handle it on my own. I cry about it or I talk about it to my mom because my mom understands my mental state. My mom understands me better than anyone ever. And I feel like that's how my sister and my dad should be because they're my family. They should give me the benefit of the doubt. But sometimes I don't. And like I said, I'm not dogging them. I don't want anybody to think that they're terrible people. I just, the things they do sometimes make me question like why they even do it kitty and I didn't want to come on here and be negative but my message to the world is because I struggle with this a lot is if you're in a bad place if you are going through something that makes you depressed or just going through something if you're in a dark space try to just talk to someone about your feelings keep the violence out of the situation and just try to get through it and try to get past it. There will come a day where you'll be over that and you'll be happy and you just have to let it pass. Don't take it out on others. Don't treat others badly because you're not being, because you're not in a good space. And if somebody's bullying you, just ignore it and even laugh at what they say because even if it hurts you, if you laugh at what they say or ignore what they say, they won't be able to get to you and they want to get to you. So try not to give them the benefit and try to make them lose because just getting violent and going after people who are coming after you is not a way to, to handle a situation. 
Anyway, I've been talking for four minutes and this vlog is now turned into a life like thing. I don't know, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Nobody's probably going to see this because I don't have that many subscribers. But like I said, I don't care. To me, it's not all about subscribers. It's just about, you know, having these moments to cherish. But, you know, whoever sees this, I hope that it helps you get through whatever you're going through. Hopefully you realize that violence isn't the answer. Taking your own life isn't the answer. Just get help. Talk to somebody and just try to get through it because you will come out the other side if you just push through it and you'll ha see better days and you'll you'll be glad that you got over it and glad you didn't take it out on somebody else so as you guys can see i'm not having the best day it was going pretty good for me um i don't know if i've told you guys this yet but i applied for a job at applied for a job at paxson in the mall and i've been i've been supposed to call them you know like when you apply somewhere you you're supposed to call them to check up on the um, application because they'll tell you they'll call you but they really won't and I've just been meaning to call them but I just have this mental thing and this super super big fear of failure and I'm just so scared of it and I can't explain it to anyone and when I explain it to people they tell me it's just an excuse it's seriously not an excuse I hate being at my house every day like it literally drives me insane I'm the type of person that has to be doing something all the time this vlog has gotten so negative and I'm so sorry for that but everybody has those days like Hannah Montana said and everybody makes mistakes and everybody knows what I'm talking about I'm just kidding <laughs> anyway I'm trying to just lift myself up because I'm in not in the greatest space right now and I already haven't been in the greatest space for the past few weeks and then my brother my brother my dad and my sister come here and first of all I don't even know why they thought they needed to come here to do what they were doing they could have went to my grandma's I don't even care if they're watching this either because they made me feel bad about myself so but anyway, I'm going to go clean up this house before my mom gets home because there's pillows all over the couch. I'm trying to finish some laundry. So I'm gonna do my favorite part of the day. So my favorite part of the day was when I made my dinner because I've been eating out a lot and I'm trying not to do that anymore. So my favorite part of the day was making my own dinner, kind of being productive. I mean, I did sit on the couch until about three o'clock, but I got up pretty early this morning. I've been trying not to get up too late. I got up, ate breakfast, chilled for a little bit, then got up and did some laundry. I unloaded and loaded the dishwasher, wiped down the counter, straightened up the kitchen because we just went to the grocery and the groceries are kind of scattered all over the kitchen. And yeah, and then my dad and my sister came over and the whole day went down the, the toilet. But anyway, my favorite part of the day was making my own dinner, getting some more of my laundry done and hanging out with my dog because he always makes me feel better. So comment below what your favorite part of your day was. And I'll see you guys next time on my vlog channel. Once again, I'm sorry for the negative stuff on my vlog. <laughs> Try not to do that anymore.